It's a survival Minecraft tutorial series, but we're doing it in a very different way. It's the Minecraft survival manual. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this first video from me in the brand new series, the Minecraft Survival Manual. Now, this is not just your average Minecraft survival tutorial thingy for beginners. We are going to do it in a very different way. How is it different, Avo? Well, we're still going to be going in. We're still going to be showing you how to do this and how to do that. However, we're going to come at it in two directions. I'm doing this as a collaboration with Frillioff. We are going to be in the same world at the same time, doing the same things, but in our different ways. So you're going to have two choices as to how you can move through a survival world, whether it is the Avermance way, whether it is the Frillioff way. And it will start probably very, very similar. But you can imagine with me and Frillioff, we are two very different characters. They're going to diverge incredibly as the episodes go on and on and on. And I'm really, really interested to see how that is going to work. However, at the start, you have to do it in exactly the same way, and that is generating a world. Now, we're going to be playing on a, uh, a server, so as we can be on there at the same time. But I am going to go through the new world generation. So if you don't know how to do this, if you're a brand new Minecraft player, welcome to the most amazing game on the planet. So we have the world generation screen here. You can call this whatever you like. I'm going to call it the Minecraft, or oh, I'm going to spell it right first, the Minecraft Survival Manual. There we go. So that's what the world is going to be called. You can have it in a number of different modes. You can have it in survival. You can have it in hardcore. Hardcore means that once you die, that's it. You can't play the world anymore. You're dead. You're done. You're finished. You might as well just delete the world. That is an interesting concept, not good for your first foray, I'll tell you that for nothing. You can have creative where you get an infinite number of blocks of any type you like and you can fly around and destroy blocks immediately. It's great for if you want to do big magnificent builds and really stretch your imagination. But we are going to be doing it in survival, which is the core of the game. You have to find your own food, you have to find your own resources, you have to survive, hence the name survival. Now, you do have a number of other world options as well, but generally speaking, these are set perfectly for you when you start. Don't mess around with them unless you want to play around. Bonus chests means that when you spawn in, you get resources immediately. I don't think that's cool. Generate structures on means, okay, well, you get villages and stuff like that. You want to keep that on unless you want a world that is very, very dull. Lots of different types of worlds. You can get default world, which is the ones that you traditionally see with mountains and seas. You can get super flat, which means that they are, as it sounds, very flat. You get large biomes. That means that you stay in the same area for a much, much longer time. Or you can get amplified, which is scary, and you do need a little bit more oomph in your computer to be able to do it. But I think default is probably the best if this is your first go in the game. In fact, I very rarely, when I'm playing survival, play anything but default. Cheats can be on or off. Cheats allow you to put commands into the, into the, the chat bar. Um, I'm going to leave cheats off because that's survival. That's the way survival works. Don't cheat. Full stop. That's the way it goes. Okay. Now, in here, you've got seed for world generator. You can select the seed that you want to use. The seed is the type of world that you have. It, what, it's what dictates where the villages are, where the resources are, where all of the interesting stuff is. Or you can do it blankly. Now, a random seed means you don't know where you're going to land. And that, for me, is much more fun. So we're going to go with a completely random seed. OK, so that's done. So now all you need to do to get yourself moving is create the new world. Click create new world and you will get a screen that looks like this. We're in 114. Did I mention that by the way? We're doing this in 114 and the world generates with this ever expanding square and once you get to 100% it throws you into the world and you're on your own and you've got to crack on. So let's see if we can't get this done. So we have landed Looks like we're in a bit of a wood, although there's an open space. Oh, well, that's quite nice, an open space over there. So this is quite useful because we've what we've got here is we've got plenty of wood. And to start off with, you need wood in survival, definitely. So what I'm going to do, because when you're in Minecraft, you have reinforced fists and you're going to punch this tree. Don't do this in real life. You'll break your hand. But get yourself 
some wood and away you go that's perfect so i've noticed that for whatever reason my settings are set to being a little bit close up so i'm just going to change the um video options that i've got here and i'm going to put oh goodness me it was i'm going to put this to 80 because that's how i like to play there we go that is much better so i've now got myself four bits of wood and with those bits of wood i'm going to make myself 16 logs i just put them in this four by four crafting square and i can get by pressing shift and hitting the button i can get 16 oak planks oak planks are much easier to work with i do want some sticks so i'm going to get myself four sticks like that what those four sticks will allow me to do is to start crafting some items I'm going to take four more and I'm pressing the right button by placing those four blocks into that square. That gives me a crafting table and that crafting table is how we're going to make stuff in this world. I'm going to pop this crafting table by placing it using right click when I've got it highlighted in my toolbar at the bottom and that places the crafting table down. What I can now do is I can hit right click and I can access what is now a three by three space. That is going to allow me to start making some tools. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two sticks in that area there, and I'm gonna put, again using right click, I'm gonna create myself a wooden pickaxe. That I can take then, and then I'm also gonna create myself a wooden axe that looks like that. So we have got a wooden pickaxe and a wooden axe. That's all I'm going to create for now. Now this wooden axe is gonna allow us to not a break our hand anymore and it's going to allow us to get wood much much faster so I'm just going to get myself some more wood here now the objective right now is purely to survive the first night once you've survived the first night what you're going to find is you're going to do fine survival of the first night especially when it's the first time you've played is often the hardest thing to do the reason it's hard is because you've got a number of challenges. The challenges are, one, finding food, two, not getting your face eaten by something that's nasty, because at night time, you get nasty things coming to find you. And that is not something that you want in your life, especially when you've got nothing to protect yourself with. Right, so we've got 14 bits of wood here, and I'm gonna convert that all to oak planks. I've got nearly what's called a stack of oak planks. A stack consists of 64 blocks some blocks have less than 64 and i'll talk about those in a later video but for now we're talking about 64 blocks i also would like to know whether or not anywhere around here we have got we've got mountains it doesn't look like we do so we're going to need to get ourselves um our first what i would say our first house so i'm just going to get myself a square we're just literally going to build ourselves a square which is one, two, three, four, five, six, go away pig, seven, and I would make a seven by seven square. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, two, three. There is seeds there, I'm gonna collect those. I got those by hitting the, um, hitting the grass. You get them sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, one, two, with a hole in there i'm just going to hit out some of these grass if i can get more seeds yeah i've got more seeds there you can see those seeds are going to help us a great deal very soon when we get um hungry so i'm i'm breaking this grass by pressing the left mouse button i'm also going to collect up you see these bits have fallen out of the tree they're called saplings and as a result of them falling out of the tree i can then plant up more trees should i need to however trees are not something that we're short of around here so we're quite lucky so i'm just going to get a few more of these bits there we go so we've got a fair number of seeds there actually we've done quite well we've got 10 seeds i think that's a fairly decent go i'm quite happy with that so looking around we've got plenty of cows We've got plenty of pigs as well, which is nice, but we're not going to worry about them at the moment. We will, however, worry about them fairly soon. So I'm just going to bash out these blocks because I'm just going to get myself a little bit more wood so as we can finish off this house. There we go. Right, so let's put this wood into my crafting. So I've hit the right, right, um, right mouse button, 
carried it over, right mouse button to place it, and hit right mouse, ma right mouse button again whilst pressing shift, and that gives me those wooden bits, and you can see the saplings are dropping there as well. If we look at the sun, it is about halfway. We're halfway through our first day already, and Minecraft day does not take very long. We've got about 10 minutes from when we start to when we have um, night time starting to fall upon us. And that means that you have to work quite quickly to start with. You want three high, at least on your house. So I'm make three high walls here, all the way around like that. And I'm gonna pop a Minecraft block there. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to, where's my crafting table, it is over there. I'm going to pick it up in just a second. I'm going to click on that with the left mouse button and I'm going to create myself a door like that. Three oak doors. Now we are in hard mode. Now what hard mode means is that zombies can, should they desire it, break down our door. Yep, we have zombies in Minecraft, I know. They can break down our door and they've got more strength than they would in normal mode as well. So I'm putting a door there which should allow us a little bit of um, protection. So I'm just going to get a little bit more wood, I think, because we want to go up another level on our on our house. Up there, up there, and up there. Keep going. Maybe one more tree. That's brilliant. Okay, go back over to our crafting table. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to break the crafting table the same way as I was punching the tree with the right mouse button and you can pick it up, which is great, right? So that means you don't waste it. And you can come inside and you can pop your crafting table down. Let's put it there. So we can now work in the safety of this area. I'm just going to convert all of those logs. And what we are going to do is we're going to build up one, two, three, so as we can put another row of logs into this house. So we've just got a little bit more headspace because I do hate being a little bit crowded. This is a box. This is not what's known as a Minecraft house, not yet. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna maximize the amount of wood that we've got. And what I've done there is I've got uh, a plank in three adjacent squares, so one, two, three. And basically, if you put three planks across, you get six slabs, and you get more slabs for your money, more coverage. So I'm gonna pick up here 24 slabs, and in those slabs, I'm gonna place them. I get, whoops, I've got the wrong one open, there we go. Let's get rid of that, easy mistake to make. Just break it down with your ax, come along, and just place all of your slabs like this. And create yourself a roof. Now I'm not going to fill in those, or oh, I'm going to be one slab short, aren't I? So let's just make six more slabs. Now don't do anything with that just yet because we what we want to do is we want to get ourselves some light. Now ordinarily if you'd have seen some mountains what you may have been able to see is some coal but unfortunately we don't have any coal. So that means that we've got to work in a slightly different way. So I'm now going to create a, um, a hole in the ground because this is the best way that we're going to be able to generate the equivalent of some coal. So I'm basically going to go down until we reach, now I'm digging out dirt with, um, with a pickaxe which isn't ideal, you should do it with a, a shovel but I'm looking for this grey stuff. Now this grey stuff is stone and you can see there what I've got is I've got Stone Age advancement has been made. Now, this stone is really, really important. You're going to get to build something new with this stone that is going to allow us to get ourselves a little bit of light. And we need eight cobblestone. So when you break up stone, there we go, we've got eight cobblestone. When you break up stone with a normal pickaxe, you end up with cobblestone um, as a result. You can get stone, but you have to use something called enchantments, and that comes later. So let's just grab this cobblestone, and we're going to make a ring by, again, placing it using the right mouse button, 
and we're going to build a furnace. Now this furnace is really important. You can see it's starting to get dark already. The sun is going down, so that was perfect timing. We're going to get that furnace and we're going to pop that in there and we're going to put that wood in the fuel section. So the bit at the bottom is fuel and the bit at the top is what we want to cook. And I'm going to cook a bit of wood. And I've just realized it's got to, I've, I've changed all my, oh goodness me, I changed all of my wood. You can't do planks, you need to use actual wood. So I'm just going to take this off quickly and then run back to the house easy mistake to make and we're going to use actual wood what am I like there we go so let's put there we go so that's much better you can see so no matter what happens items are going to come out the other side you can see what we've got here is charcoal and I'm going to make a load more charcoal by using these planks here and cooking all of these oak logs. Now that charcoal will give us something really, really important that I'll show you in just a second. So there's two. It takes 10 seconds for something to smelt. 10 seconds. And as a result of that 10 second space, um, you can't speed that up. It's, it's basically set. No matter what you work with, you're always going to get 10 seconds. Let me just take this out here because it's just about going to make that last one. And there we go. So I've got still got 10 pieces of wood left. I'm going to take that charcoal out now and I'm going to open up the furnace. No, I'm not. I'm going to open up the craft crafting table by pointing the mouse over it. And I'm going to create torches. So one stick and one piece of charcoal gives you four torches. If I if I use all four stick, all four charcoal and four sticks, that will give me 16 torches. 16 torches is plenty to be able to light up this area that's beautiful if we look outside we might be able to see monsters very possibly I'm just going to open up the door and have a look around and I'm gonna just light up the front area of the house so we can see it from a distance but you can't see too many mobs actually so we call monsters mobs in Minecraft and there are not any around at the moment but they will spawn in no doubt and make our day but I'm quite happy to not have any mobs at the moment that is brilliant so now what we can do is we can go down and get ourselves a little more of this stone because a stone tool is a lot better than a wooden tool you get much better durability and you can actually mine better things with it so we're just gonna so we're gonna survive our first night now pretty simply looking out there because uh, no one's going to come in and get us. What we can now do is fill in our roof like that and we can get some more cobble. So I've made basically a makeshift mine here. So our objective now is just to get a little bit more cobble so as we can make some better tools. And I'm going to make a set of tools that are much more useful. So I'm just going to dig, probably get about 16 pieces of cobble because they're quite useful right so what we have seen there do you see this block on the right hand side that's iron it's got a different texture and you can see it looks very very different don't mine your iron with your wooden pickaxe get yourself your stone pickaxe before you mine it so how many pieces of cobblestone we've got we've got about 20 so I'm just going to pop another torch there and another torch there because when the light level gets below a value of seven and Minecraft gives values of light levels according to how light it is when it becomes seven or less that will allow a monster or a mob to spawn like a, a zombie or a skeleton or you've probably heard of creepers which are the bane of my existence so this is a decent start to a nice little mine so I'm just going to show you if I go function F3 you can see uh, the light level of the block and it's the block light level that's really important so here the block level is 12 if I walk this way you see it goes 13 as I go past the torch turns to 12 then to 11 and then back to 12 and as I come back up here they're all kind of 10 or above 
which is great. That means that nowhere in here can we have any monsters spawning. Although you can't have a monster spawning closer to you than about 25 blocks. So at the moment we're still relatively safe. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take this cobble and I'm going to put it in here and before I do anything I need to make some more sticks. I'm just going to get myself a load of sticks and I'm going to do it in exactly the same way. I'm going to put in sticks in here. If I right click the mouse it gives me half of that stack of sticks. Put that in the one above. I've got the two high sticks. I'm going to make myself a stone pick which is that. I'm going to make myself a stone axe which is that and I'm also going to make myself a stone shovel and the shovel digs out dirt much easier. These different tools have very different values of digging out very different blocks so shovels are really good at digging out sand and gravel and dirt. Picks are good at digging out stony things, things that are like, generally speaking considered to be quite hard and axes as you're probably not surprised are good for hitting wood stuff. So use the right tool for the right job you'll find it is a lot better. You can see it's still very dark outside, but because I've gone to stone, I've got the advancement getting an upgrade, which is absolutely great. So I can now get rid of these wooden tools. They are no longer any good to me. And you can use them in your, um, in your furnace as fuel. They don't last for very long, to be fair, but they are quite useful. So what I'm now going to do, so you can't, I need to get more of the proper wood. You can't burn the planks which is weird really because you would have thought you would have been able to burn the planks. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to use this stone pickaxe to dig out this iron. This was a real find look. We've got a nice little vein of iron here and you can see the iron looks different as it's floating around. So I've got new recipes as a result of getting this iron and we've got ourselves five iron blocks. I'm just going to dig out a little bit more. Whilst it's night time we can't do anything else so we may as well just keep mining out until we've got a little bit more stone and I'm also going to go downwards because really the good stuff is down. So I'm going to dig out another little stair down here because what this tells me this dirt here is that we could be getting close to the surface um, because we're up on slightly of a bit of a hill and if we just dig across all we're going to find is that we're going to have um, coming out of another side and it's going to give a separate access to anything that we don't want to get in the house just to come through a tunnel on the side of the hill which is not what you want so we've got different stone type here you can see so if I just dig this out and collect it you'll see that we've got stone called diorite. Now diorite is, you can use it in exactly the same way as you use stone, except it's horrible. In my personal opinion, diorite is not a great block to use. Some people use it in certain builds, and you definitely can, um, but for me, diorite is not a great block, and there is a big debate in the Minecraft community as to whether or not diorite, diorite is of any use whatsoever. So I've still got eight torches. I need to start lighting this place up again. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to shove a torch down and I'm just going to keep digging and see if we can't find a little bit more iron while we dig down. I'm just going to double back on myself so as we don't go too far from the house with our mine. Keep digging down with the pick. Put another torch down just so as we don't get any anything that's too dark. And right here it looks like we're not going to find any iron straight away. So what I'm going to come up and do is I'm going to make that iron ready. Look, it's now daytime so we can pop out again. We've survived the first night. Congratulations if you've been playing along with us. And what we can do is we can get the iron, pop it in there, and you can see that immediately burns that um, axe. And if I put the pick in there as well, that will burn the pick. But what we'll end up with is some iron. And once you've got iron stuff, it is much, much more fun. Now, whilst that's melting, that's just going to smelt one item. Um, we won't get a second item, but that's okay. 
we can go outside and we can see what's happened in our new day. It's looking good. So we've survived the first night. Objective achieved. That, my friends, was a good job. We have got a house that looks like a box. We have got some bits and pieces surrounding us. We've got some great trees. We've got some animals. I think we are set for a decent Minecraft base right here where we have started. I don't think we're going to need to travel too far, although if we wanted to, we absolutely could. There are some things that we need to find that are going to be really important for our journey. But right now, I think we've made a great start. If you've enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap that like button. Go and see Frill's first day video as well. It should be out. You can go and see it. The link will be in the description below. It's really important that you see the way we do it in different ways because my way isn't the only way. And that's what's different about this particular series. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.